Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Josh and today I've got a quick video but one that I've been meaning and wanting to do for quite some time. Just haven't had a reason and a chance to do it yet. Um, but we do today and what we're going to be doing is looking at one of the most important car care products and car accessories that we have in our entire garage and it is sitting right behind me here in this garbage bag looking uh, storage bag and this is what's called a hail protector not just a hail protector the hail protector now right up front this is not sponsored by the hail protector company they don't know who i am and in fact we've actually had this now for two to three years um so this is not a new product or anything like that but this is because as you may know if you've watched any of my other videos we only have a two-car garage and we have two cars that are already parked in here and our rav4 prime which is our day or my daily driver parks outside and lives outside for most of its life um and so we a couple years ago when we added a third car to our our household we decided that because we live here in central texas i live here in austin where we get some gnarly hailstorms, that we really wanted to have some protection for whatever car was sitting outside and that's where the hill protector comes into play so the idea behind this thing is that it creates a bubble around your car an air-filled bubble so think about like a child's bouncy house kind of thing so even if we did get massive hailstones falling out of the sky, they're not going to be able to make contact with the surface of the car at a speed and uh, force that's going to leave a dent. And hail damaged cars are a disaster and a nightmare. And hail can actually total out your cars as we have seen here in Austin over and over again. Now, before we get to the install, the thing to know about the hail protector is it does run on electricity. That's, it's gonna, that's what's gonna keep the blower motors in, the, in that little air bubble um, running. Now, in storming weather, a lot of times, sometimes you lose power. And so what I've also got alongside here, which is another one of our most critical things and accessories in our house, is what's called an EcoFlow uh, power station. These are not technically generators because they don't generate power. They're just giant batteries. But this EcoFlow, which you may be able to see the logo here, not sure. But this EcoFlow, in the event of a power outage, I can hook the... Um, the hail protector up to the EcoFlow, and this can provide power even in a power outage. So we'll get it unpacked, we'll get it on the car, and I'll show you exactly how all this works. And in the event, I'm fingers are crossed that we don't actually get any hail today. Um, we did get some hail, I think it was uh, early last year, and I do have some footage of this hail protector protecting one of our cars during a hailstorm. And you guys, it's crazy to watch how, how well this thing works and how it actually you know, how the hail kind of actually bounces off the um, this thing when it is fully inflated on the car. Let's get to it. All right, guys, well, that is how the hail protector goes on. Uh, once you do it the first few times, it gets easier because you figure out exactly how it's supposed to go on your car and where all the different corners and all the different uh, tie down points are supposed to go. Um, so if you are going to buy one of these, I highly recommend setting it up on your car before you ever need it. Like take a day when it's nice and sunny outside and you can spend an hour trying to figure out how all this goes together, do that so that when the weather gets kind of grim like it is right now and when you actually are gonna expect hail, you'll know exactly what to do. Um, this goes on in about 10 minutes or so uh, if one person is doing it. Obviously, if two people are doing it, it goes a lot quicker. And I would not recommend wearing white pants while you do it the way I am today, but um, this is kind of just all rolled in really quickly and so I didn't just, yeah. Um, but anyway, that's what it looks like when it's deflated. And then um, what I'm gonna do now is go turn on the pump so you can actually see um, what it looks like when it starts to inflate. So let's go do that. All right, guys, so here's where all the magic happens. We are at the back of the car. So this is the uh, garage and I'm standing against my GX right now. Um, but this is the pump that actually keeps air going into the hail protector. So when we turn it on, the four pumps here are going to take in air from outside and then push it into the kind of inside of this balloon like thing and that's what's going to keep this whole thing inflated <laughs> All 
All right, guys, well, that is the hail protector. It is fully inflated here. I've got to mess with that corner down there because it's kind of coming up off the bumper, which means I need to tighten the cord that kind of holds the, uh, the bottom of the whole balloon kind of in place. Um, but it's starting to rain. It's about as inflated as it will get. And I know it doesn't look like that much, but trust me when I say this thing does an amazing job protecting our cars. And um, again, if we get hail tonight, I will put some footage of that uh, in the video. If we don't, I'll put some footage from a previous hailstorm in the video. It's raining, so I'm going to run back into the garage. But um, yeah, that is the hail protector. We really like it and um, we'll continue to use it as long as it keeps protecting our car. So yeah. All right, let's go head back inside. All right, guys. So I have um, turned off the pump so that I can deflate it and then get the edges a little bit tighter down at the bottom. But um, while it's deflating, I open one of the vents and this is what it looks like inside. And this is the pocket of air that this thing creates around your car so that it um, so that, you know, no hail comes in contact with the actual vehicle. So you can see how much space, especially when this is fully inflated, um, you can see what kind, like just how big a pocket of space this uh, hail protector creates around the car to protect it from, you know, the hail that's going to come, might come down on the car. All right, guys, so I fixed the corner and you can see it's much better, much more nicely tucked up under the front bumper there. Um, but I've got a rock from our yard. I'm gonna lob it at the car and uh because this thing is fully inflated and but you get the idea everything just generally bounces right off this little exoskeleton that we have put around the car and that's how that's why i love it okay guys so thankfully we didn't get any hail this go around so what i'm gonna throw in here are some clips from the last time we got a hailstorm and we had the hail protector on the car. Okay, so this was the beginning of the storm and the hail that was coming down was about the size of marbles. Um, and you can see here the hail protector is doing an amazing job protecting the car from what was coming down. Nothing made contact with the car and these were relatively large sized hailstones. All right, here we are about an hour and a half later, and at this point, the hailstones were a little bit smaller than golf balls, and you can hear them hitting the windows and the house and the hail protector. Even with that size, though, there was no damage to the car. The hail protector did an amazing job, and that's why this is such an important thing for us to have in our garage. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have questions and comments, leave them either downstairs, or you can email me here at the email on screen. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a great one, and... Take care.